What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to part number two of my 1000 subscriber special. So if you guys have not watched my announcement video, what I was doing to celebrate 1000 subscribers was I was going to open up um, two Dark Explorer blister packs and one of those packs was going to be featured on Pokemon Pack Daily and part number two was actually going to be what you see right in front of you. But you guys did not see this in the uh, in the reveal video. You saw me opening the package which the packs came in. As you guys can kind of just see there on camera, we got the Generations packs kind of just stashed in there. But yeah, um, today we're going to be opening up 36 Generations boost packs all in the one video for you guys today. But yeah, without further ado, let's let's not ramble on for too much longer. Thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers, and this is what we have today because of you guys. So, 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 we have the packaging. So let's go go through the box art. So uh, shout out to my little brother for making the um, box art. It's actually been stuck onto a flash fire booster box. But um, yeah, so let's let's have a sus. So we've got um, Zapdos and Articuno chilling on the front there. Like he made this himself. Like I didn't have any input in anything of how, how it looks. He did it all himself. So it's pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, so it's got a little XY kind of logo there. We got uh, a water symbol, a uh, lightning symbol. I think that's some sort of like water stone maybe, or like a water element. Then we've got Vaporeon chilling on the side with uh, Generations written just there. Cool. Then on the back we've got Mega Blastoise and Mega Venusaur. How sweet does that look? Um, and then on the side we've got Flareon on the top. We got Mega Charizard. He, I think he did really well for Mega Charizard. He's um he's actually 11 years old, so he did pretty pretty good. So let's have a look at this as well. So that's what the front of it looks like all together. So pretty pretty cool. But yeah, the main attraction, what you guys actually would like to see today, we have the 36 packs of Generations. But without hesitation, let's get cracking into these packs. So let's start off with the left hand side, I reckon, of the custom booster box. So yeah, each side has 18 packs. I've set it up all like a booster box and everything, so it looks so good. And I've been waiting so long to do this for you guys. So, so long. So this is my real, like my first kind of real taste of what Generations actually has. Like I haven't really opened too many products on YouTube to this current date, so this is going to be a real nice um, boost to my set and everything. So yeah, let's do that. And I believe two, three to the front would be probably the easiest pack tr trick to go by. I think it's like, you could do like two, two and two, but um, three to the front, I think will work just as good. So we've got a Floral Crown, a Max Revive, Red Card, a Fighting Energy, Doduo, Slowpoke, a Lightning Energy, a Reverse Olympia. So these are going to be really um, good to have because um, the Reverse set's going to be pretty hard to get. Then we've got an Altaria from the Radiant Collection. Cool, cool, cool. And we got a Pinsir Regular Rare to kick it off. So 100 HP with Overhead Throw and Heavy Suplex. So we got a dud to kick it off. That is okay, that is okay. Venusaur, let's go. Let's see if Venusaur can come through. And look at that, we saved the pack art. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's throw that one just up there because I saved it. Three to the front. And let's go. So we got an Esper energy switch. Double colorless energy, a darkness energy, slowpoke, a Paris, Caterpie, a reverse Pokeball, and we've got a Dedene from the Rating Collection. Awesome. And a Jinx regular rare. So we're off to two duds, two duds so far. 70 HP with the ability Victory Kiss and Hug. So yeah, very questionable art that one. You got Marchant flexing in the background with the Jinx doing a sassy, sassy pose. Next up we've got Blastoise. Can Blastoise be the winner 
<laughs> and come through for us. Because the poor ratios uh, in generations, from what I've seen, they are sky high. So, um, yeah, I actually saved that pack art as well. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. So we got the female Wobbuffet. We've got Marchoke, Team Flare Grunt, a Magikarp, a Unlisted Leaf Energy, <laughs> and we got a Diglett, a Paris, a Reverse Paris. We've got the Altaria from the Rating Collection, and a Hitmonlee regular air. So we're on a dry streak just to kick it off. The hype is not real right now. But yeah, this one has Stretch Kick and Spiral Kick. So that one's from Furious Fist, I believe. Reprint from Furious Fist. Pikachu. Come on. Come through for me. Come through for me. You're the mascot of the TV series. You can come through. And we save that pack heart as well. Check that. We're on a roll here right now. Alrighty. So let's see. We have a Shroomish. A Clefable. Golbat. A Caterpie. Paris. A Rhyhorn. Clefairy. We've got a Reverse Shelter. That one's just a common. We've got a Wally from the Rating Collection. Not bad. And a Gyarados regular air. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. 130 HP with Berserker Splash and Aqua Tail. Damn. So we're not off to the best start, guys. So we're 0 out of 4 so far. Back to Charizard. So from what I know on this left side, I had it set up to go like Charizard, Venusaur, Blast, Blastoise, Pikachu. And then like, kind of like that. Just to keep the pack arts somewhat fresh, even though there's only 4. So just crack this pack open nice and easy. Try to save it. Awesome. So we've got a... A Raichu. Crushing Hammer. Mr. Mime. Tangler. Ghastly. Psychic Energy. Uh, Krabby. Reverse Meowth with Exhausted Tackle. Ooh, here we go. So Charizard came through. We've got a Sylveon EX from the Radiant Collection. So this one has 170 HP with Dress Up and Precious Ribbon. So yeah, it's pretty hard to see in the light there like that. You can't really see it, but um, if I hold it back like that, you kind of can. Not bad. So that is the first EX of this custom booster box. And then we've got a Rapidash Regular Rare. So this one has 90 HP with Agility and Overrun. So yeah, well that, that was like 5 packs it took for us to get one at the moment, and so... That's, yeah, not a good start, not a good start, but it is good to see Sylveon come through and say hello. So let's go into this next pack. That one I could not say, that one just shredded. Okay, so we got a Wobbuffet. Graveler, Crushing Hammer, Clefairy, A Rhyhorn, Zubat, Ponyta, we've got a Reverse Rare Hitmonchan, that one is from Furious Fist, not bad, and we've got a Deancey from the Rating Clear Collection, so let's throw Hitmonchan just off the back there, being a Reverse Rare. And we got a Hitmonlee regular rare. So that's twice out of the six packs we've opened so far. Uh, this is the second Hitmonlee we have seen already. So we're already getting dupes. And we're not even like halfway through the box. Damn. Damn. Generations. Show me a little love. Come on Blastoise. Come through. Come through for me. So let's go. I think I just knocked the camera as well. Hopefully it's not too bad. Yeah, there we go. Oh gee. So we've got Chikorita. That light, that art looks pretty good. Pretty good. You get Pikachu and just running down the stairs. Very cute art. So we got a Max Revive. Double Colorless Energy. Pikachu. A Caterpie. Psychic Energy. Meowth. 
a Martrek. That one is a reverse uncommon. So that, that one's from Furious Fist once again. We've got a Charizard. So this Charizard is actually rather hard to pull. And um, from what I believe, it's somewhat pricey just because it's got the attack Combustion Blast. So it's not like a reprinted Charizard from Flash Fire, but it does have the same attack from the Flash Fire Charizard. So that's not bad. And a Meowstic EX. So what a pack. We got a nice little pack there. Got the uh, Charizard from the Rating Collection, and we got a Meowstic EX. Nice. So this one has 160 HP with Shadow Ear and Mind Shock. What number is that one? That one's number 37 out of 83. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, I believe that I've already got Meowstic. I think I pulled that one in one of my mythical collection boxes. And I've also got Vaporeon. So, who knows? Who knows what else we can expect out of these packs? Because, um, I'm not sure what boxes these ones were, um, out of. I think they were potentially out of the Celebi Mythical Collection boxes. I never really asked Jeff, because um, if you guys did not know, I purchased these from the Poke Capital. And um, yeah, so he stripped a couple of boxes for me and got them yeah, straight out of them. And I can't remember what boxes they were out of. But yeah, so we've got a Chikorita, a Shauna, Energy Switch, Magikarp, a Grass Energy, a Diglett, Paris. I keep going to say unlisted leaf energy, <laughs> but we've got a reverse rare Gengar. That one's from uh, Breakthrough, I believe. I was going to say Phantom Forces, but um, I believe that one's from Breakthrough. Ooh, ooh, a Gutter for EX Full Art. Damn, I did not see that coming by any means. That looks pretty sweet in person. Like, I've seen so many generations opening. I've been waiting for so long to uh, crack into these packs. I've seen everything. But yeah, we've got a Gardevoir EX with 170 HP with Leaf Leap, oh, Life Leap, sorry, and Shining Wind. But wow, that card looks so pretty in person. And behind that one, we've got the Tauros that is like the art um, reprinted from base set, I believe. It's not bad, 110 HP with Takedown and Seething Anger. Not bad, so we're slowly starting to uh, get back now. We are, we're on a bit of a streak. So it's um, a couple of reverse, we got two reverse rares, Charizard, and we got three EXs. One being the full art from the Radiant Collection. So, not bad, not bad. Not bad. After the four, four pack dry streak at the start, I was, uh, I'm, I was just hoping that they were just the, uh, the calm before the storm. Because that has happened in a lot of my openings. In the build up to 1,000 subscribers, I've had so many openings where it's gone really quiet. And then um, from there, we just got killer, absolutely killer pulls. But yeah, we've got Clef Fairy, a Diglett, a Water Energy. So I think we've almost seen all the energy so far in this opening. But we've got a Reverse Shauna. We've got the Floet. That one's from the Radiant Collection. Not bad. And a Golem EX. Nice. So we've gone from like a four pack dry streak straight onto like a four pack, like four ish pack uh, pull streak or like three pack pull streak. That's crazy though. Check out that card. They showed Go Golem some love for sure. So it's got 180 HP with Boulder Crush and Megaton Fall. This Pokemon does 60 damage to itself. Damn. Calm down, Golem. Calm down. Alrighty, so let's move these a little bit closer together as they're starting to stack up now. And move on to the Venusaur pack art. So check out this pack art. Let's have a like, quick little suss of this pack art. So you got the Generations logo, logo there. You got the Pokemon 20th Anniversary little Pikachu there. Um, and then on the back, it just says that. Feel free to pause and have a read of that as well. I didn't really kind of like go through that at all. But yeah, so it says um, just here. Uh, Pokemon TCG Generations expansion contains over 110 cards. Each player must have a 60 card deck to, of Pokemon cards to play. So yeah, pretty pretty standard kind of wording and stuff there. But let's see if we can save this pack art. I'm trying to save as many as I can because I don't see myself opening a whole load of generations just due to them not coming in um, booster boxes or anything like that. They're very limited to 
the collection boxes. So yeah, that's why I've created this custom booster box. Just to uh, get a taste of what it would be like to open what could be close to a booster box. But yeah, there's the fire energy. I don't think we saw that one yet, so we're going to be getting close to have uh, seen all of them by now. Team Flare Grunt, reverse. Ooh, I don't see these Ultras coming at all. They just sneak up on me and scare the crap out of me. But yeah, this was a Flareon EX with 170 HP with the ability Flash Fire and the attack Blaze Ball. And doesn't that card just look awesome? So I've, I know for a fact that I pulled this one once before. Uh, but I'm definitely not disappointed by any means to have pulled another one because it, it is an awesome card. And I'm sure you guys love this card as well. Just just look at it. It looks awesome. But behind the Flareon we have a Tauros once again. So we got the, I think it was the Gardevoir just before. And then behind that we had the Tauros as well. So interesting, interesting. Two Radiant uh, Collection Ultra like Full Art. And we both got the same pull behind that one too. But yeah, it's got takedown and seething anger, as you guys would know, because I've already said it. <laughs> cool, so we've got the last phase up next. Up next, I must have just, like, started off, like, really, really bad. <laughs> because those first four packs were, um, rather a buzzkill. Because it was just like, there's just nothing. It's like, what? Kind of reminded me of my Charizard EX box opening. By the way, I will be opening another one of those on the channel because the pulls from that one was very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. But we've got a Geodude, Pikachu, Caterpie, a Reverse Magikarp, another Charizard. Okay, so yeah, this card, like I was saying, it is rather hard to pull, but I've now pulled two of them, um, which isn't too bad at all. So it goes up the back just because it's Charizard, just off to the side. And we got another pincer. Okay, so that one's just gonna chill up there. And yeah, we got pincer once again with overhead throw and heavy suplex. But yeah, on to the next pack. So we're nearing the halfway mark of this custom booster box opening. So I believe this opening is going to be it's going to be close to an hour for sure at this rate. So I'll try to try to go at a pretty quick pace, but at the same time I want to um I'm gonna try and relish the moment and just enjoy. Um, opening these as opening one of these uh, custom booster boxes of generations is not something that I'll get to do every day. But yeah, we've got a Mash Revive, a Slowpoke, Tangler, Rhyhorn. We've got the Psychic Energy. Ooh, okay, so we've got a reversed uh, Grass Energy, which is awesome because these uh, energies are very playable, but. Um, also very expensive to buy because of that um, so pulling this for my reverse set is a very good thing very very good thing then we've got a Wally not bad and a Gengar Hollow nice so that was a pretty good pack we got a Hollow and we got the reverse energy awesome so 130 HP with Sinister Fog and Creep Show. actually I might even throw that um, that en energy out the back just purely because it is rather hard to I'd say hard, hard to pull and just yeah a good card to own due to playability so let's get into this Charizard pack I'd be very surprised if we managed to pull a Charizard of any sort the goal the the hopes would be to pull at least one of the mega starters so uh, mega Venus or Blastoise or Charizard um, out of these 36 packs, but um, who knows? And of course, everyone wants a Jolteon, so that could be also nice to pull just because Jolteon is OP as. OP as. But we've got a Water Energy, a Magikarp, Ponyta, uh, Mr. Mine Reverse. That one is. I don't even know what it is. An uncommon. I couldn't even read that for a second. We got Swirlix. And a Parasect. Okay. So let's just slightly adjust this. Uh, adjust the slide here. I think that looks a little bit better. So it's got Colorful Spores and x Scissor. So let's move on to Venusaur. Whoops. So that pack shredded. Whoopsie days. <laughs> it like literally is 
gone. Literally gone. But let's go. Three to the front. And let's see what this pack has in store for us. So we have a Shroomish. A Revitalizer. So that's the first time I've seen the Revitalizer. It's very interesting. A um, new card uh, to the set, from what I believe. We've got a red card, a Ghastly, Krabby, Marchop, a Grass Energy, Reverse Ponyta, that one's a common. Jirachi, so this is the first time I've seen the Jirachi. Pretty cool art. Pretty cool art indeed. And this is actually, at this current moment, being April, this is the featured Pokemon for the Pokemon 20th anniversary. So shout out to Jirachi. And the rare behind Jirachi is an Ultra. It's a Ninetales. Awesome. So when I saw this card, I'm like, I need a Ninetales. I, um, as a kid, I really liked uh, Arcanine and Ninetales, and I loved how they evolved from um, Fire Stones, because you just don't see that many Pokemon out there that evolve from stones. And are uh, this good looking, but yeah, love Ninetales. I love the um, part that Ninetales, Ninetales played in that uh, episode of the anime where uh, it was in the like haunted house, and it was like a I think it was like a shiny nine tails, but um, yeah, it was an awesome episode. But yeah, awesome card. I was just kind of had to like stare at that for a second because it looks so good in person. Because yeah, as as I was saying earlier, I've already seen all, like all these cards um previously, previously. But um, it's just next level to see them in person. But yeah, let's check out this Blastoise. And I wonder when we're going to get our first pack with two ultra rare pulls. So let's see if I can save this pack just by using my little letter opener. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Three to the front. So I believe we got three packs left after this one for the first side of the box. So we got a Gulpin, Mr. Mime, Energy Switch, Magma, Pikachu, Darkness Energy, Slowpoke. A reverse Golbat. A Frostlass, that one's from the Rating Collection. Not bad looking card. And a Doug Trio regular rare. So the first time we've seen Doug Trio so far, so that is not bad. Not bad. 90 HP with Earthquake and Rock Tumble. Cool. Pikachu. Pikachu, Pikachu. So yeah, it says all the same on the back. I haven't really like looked at these packs too much. I kind of like have just been really preparing for the uh, for this opening and just in general and just yeah I don't know. I just completely forgot to um, look at the packs and kind of like relish the moment. I guess you could say of having all this goodness like on hand unopened. But we have a Swablu, Pokemon Center Lady, Pokemon Fan Collab. A Machop, Fighting Energy, Meow, Magma, another Reverse Golbat, so that's the second one in a row, I believe. Crazy, crazy, crazy. What's the odds? But then we've got a Charizard from the Rating Collection. Once again, that's Charizard number three. These uh, Rating Collection Charizards love me. And a Gyarados regular rare. So that is the second appearance that Gyarados has made for us today. With Berserker Splash and Aqua Tail. Cool, cool. I believe that one's from Ancient Origins. Just having a wild, wild swing. I'd say so. I think it is. I opened a lot of Ancient Origins and I've opened a lot of uh, Breakthrough and Breakpoint. And Roaring Skies. Actually, I opened a lot of all those sets. Um, uh, whole cases, so. Gets pretty um, hard trying to remember those things. But let's go. So we've got an Esper red card, Pokemon Center Lady. I think that, that, that one has like a little bit of a bent corner. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that just there. It's like kind of like bent up. I don't know. I might just leave that one off to the side because it is damaged. But we've got a Diglett, Fighting Energy, Doduo, Slowpoke, a Reverse Metapod, <laughs> another Gardevoir EX Full Art. Not bad. Um, from the rating collections, this was definitely one of the cards that I wouldn't have minded to pull two of. 
still waiting for like Pikachu and stuff obviously to show its face and like Mega Gardevoir and stuff but it's not bad to get another one of these not bad and we got a Snorlax regular rare so yeah that one has Staring Snooze and Sleepy Press but yeah so 170 HP with Life Leap and Shining Wind number two number two so yeah, the hollows are rather hard to pull <laughs> out of these uh, out of these packs so far because I've only got the one Gengar, which I'm not disappointed about because the hollows should be relative, relatively relatively uh, easy to buy off Troll and Toad if need be, if need be. But I'm hoping we um, can pull them all today, hopefully. If not, in one of the future collection box openings on the channel. But let's go. Final pack of the left hand side of the box. Let's go. So we've got Charmeleon. I'm, I think this might be the first one I've pulled so far. But yeah, crazy, crazy. We've got a Max Revive. Golbat. Paris. Pikachu. A Fairy Energy. So I think that completes the energies. I think we've pulled one of each. A Zubat. Reverse Paris. So this is the second Reverse Paris of the first 18 packs. We've got a Dedene. And another Gyarados. So Gyarados is making a third appearance today. So this one is Berserker Splash and Aqua Tail once again. Once again. Alrighty, so I'm going to clear this side off now that we're halfway through. And let's have a midway recap as well to mark the, uh, mark the points. So I'll just quickly sort these out. Throw all them there. And that there, okay. Let's throw that there. All the radiant collections to the front. Regulars to the back. Try and get them in some sort of an order of least favorite to favorite. There we go. Alrighty. So this is the re recap of the first 18 packs. So we've got a reverse grass energy. We've got Charizard number one, two, and three. Just throwing it in there because that is it's just Charizard. Then we've got Hitmonchan, Reverse Red Gengar, and then we've got the Hollow Gengar, Sylve Sylveon EX, Gardevoir EX Full Art, times two, a Flareon EX, Meowstic EX, Golem EX. And a Ninetales EX being my favorite pull so far. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Looks so good. So good. Cool. So let's throw all those off to the side. And move on to the final 18 packs. Let's just grab them straight out of the box. So let's start off with this one. So we've got Venusaur. Oops, just shredded that one. Whoopsie days. Okay, three to the front, and I believe if you guys did not see on cam already, this pack has something. <laughs> I think I just spoiled it by opening up the wrong way. We've got a Club Fable, a Maintenance, Slowpoke, Paris, Caterpie, Clefairy, a Caterpie Reverse, Sylveon EX. Okay, so we did have something indeed, and it is a dupe, but that is A-OK. -okay. So this one has Dress Up and... Precious Ribbon and a Parasect regular rare. So not a bad, uh, not a bad way to kick off the second half of the box. But let's continue. So we got Blastoise. Blastoise. Oops. So that pack, that pack I just got ruined. Try not to spoil it this time. Okay. So we've got an Esper. Energy Switch, Revitalizer, Darkness Energy, Krabby, a Caterpie, Paris, a Jinx, that one is a Reverse Rare, a Floet from the Rating Collection, and a Rapidash Regular Rare. So it's got 90 HP with Agility and Overrun. Overrun, so let's throw that one just there. Next pack. Whoops. Sylveon. Chill. Just chill. Actually, let's get these packs out. 
That is not gonna work. And then we'll just throw let's show off the booster box ish. And throw Sylveon. There. Cool. Charizard. Charizard. Um, yeah, so, um, once again, I'm just, I'm hoping and praying that we manage to pull at least one of the Mega EXs out of these packs, or potentially a Jolteon would be the way to go, just purely because they're rather pricey, and, um, it's going to be rough trying to fork out the, uh, <laughs> the cash to complete the set. But we've got Max Revive. The Pikachu Full Art. So this one is not an EX, it's just a regular Full Art, which is awesome, but... Wow, that's pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this Pikachu Art. Look at them all. Just look at them all. But it's got 60 HP. Like, check that. 60 HP with Nuzzle and Quick Attack. So what's it say in the bottom corner here? It says, A yellow body is proof of good health. If you touch its bright red cheeks, you'll see it shining it's shining smiling face cool cool what a nice pull and we've got a snow lash regular rare alrighty so yeah we're slowly nearing the end of this custom boost box opening so this is crazy it feels it feels so good but then at the same time it's such a sad sad day who knows I may have to I may have to open up another 36 just for the just to say that I've done it twice because um, I'm really enjoying this and it's just such an awesome set to um, to open up. One thing because of the poor ratios but then another thing just because of the arts. Like check out this Pikachu art. So simple but it just looks, it looks really nice. Really nice. Then we've got the reprints as well which makes this, uh, this set rather unique. And I don't think we pulled this one yet. I keep talking about the energies and how we pulled them all but I don't think we pulled this one. So who knows, we gotta be gotta be somewhat close to having every single energy now. We've got a Slurpuff. That is the first time I've seen Slurpuff in the rating collection slot. And another Snorlax. Damn, Trollax, more like it. Trollax. Gyarados. Actually, all the regular rares we've seen a lot of so far, which is kind of surprising because the set is 110 cards big, I guess you could say. Um but yeah, to be seeing dupes so regularly seems a bit, a little bit strange. And I think I just knocked the can. Just chill, chill. So let's throw that one over there. And let's see what this pack has for us today. So that's pretty much what we've got up to. It's just literally like, just let's see what the next pack has. Because I do not know what is coming up. Uh, actually, I kind of do right now because it is shining at me. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that there right at the back. It is shining at me so we still have plenty of goodness to come throughout these last couple of packs because it is generations and the goods are there. It just depends what. Just depends what. So we've got a reverse march up. We've got the Eveltal from the Radiant Collection and that shiny shiny goodness is a Meowstic EX. So yeah, like I was just saying, it depends on what it is. So we've got another dupe EX so far. So we've got the Sylveon um, in this part, in this second half of the Beast Box so far, and we've got the Meowstic. So the only new highlight is the Pikachu Full Art. But yeah, once again, it's got 160 HP with the ability Shadow Ear and the attack Mind Shock. So let's throw you up back. I keep moving on and keep Keep on the hunt for a Mega or a Jolteon. Because we have not seen... We haven't even seen a Vaporeon yet, which is very surprising. I thought I would have definitely pulled one of those by now. Or maybe even another Ninetales. Oh, this pack is being very painful right now. So it's getting shredded. Alrighty. So the struggle is real. I apologize. But there we go. Hopefully the struggle was all for not. Wasn't all for not, sorry. Hopefully there's something goody shining up the back. So we've got a Swablu. Double colorless energy. An energy switch. Shelter. March shop. A fighting energy. Meowth. Pokeball. 
Ooh, we've got another Pikachu Fallout. I'm not, not even mad. Not even mad. Check that. Pikachu V2. And we got a Dugtrio. So not bad. So we've pulled a lot of duplicate ultra rares so far. But yeah, in particular that Pikachu, I'm definitely not mad about. The Gardevoir, I'm definitely not mad about. Um, and yeah, um, other than that, I'm just hoping for one of the uh, starters to just pop through and say hello because they're going to be rather hard to get if I don't get them out of these 36 packs. Not even the regular EXs like have shown their face so far to me. So who knows? Who knows? I may not even get any. That's that's just the luck of the draw and that's what makes this so addicting. Um, opening up all these packs. That is one of the one of the things that just keeps you hooked. But we've got a Marchoke. Pokemon Fan Club. A Ghastly. Meow. Rhyhorn. Ponyta, Pokemon Fan Club. Okay, so we've got another rating collection Charizard. So we've seen a lot of these. Just after I said we don't really see much of them, we've pulled like four so far. So that's strange. That is really strange. And we got a Hitmonchan regular rare with Bullet Punch and Macross. No clue. No clue what's going on there. Venusaur. 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 So this pack is shredding for me as well. There we go. Slide you out. Okay, so let's see. The hunt is on. The hunt is on. We gotta keep the hype because we need to make sure we've got those positive vibes when we get something good. So this is the first Imakuni from the boost the custom boost box out of all the packs we've opened so far. This is an uncommon and this is the very first one we have pulled, so wow. I just I can't even comprehend that. Like we've opened so many packs so far and it was that hard to pull that uncommon. Which is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. But we've got a reverse rare parasect, a slow path from the Radiant Collection, and a Hitmonchan regular rare once again. Once again. So like I was saying seen so many of the same like regular rares I just don't I don't understand out of 110 cards how yeah, there's just so little like when it comes to like regular rares and we haven't even seen like many hollows at all either I, I was expecting to be pulling a lot more hollows than I was of even ultra rares but yeah I don't know have no clue what's going on guys but we've got a Raichu Metapot, Revitalizer, Tangler, Magikarp, Middle Energy, Pikachu, a Reverse Haunter, Floet, and a Rare Snorlax, once again, once again. Pikachu. Whoops, <laughs> there goes that pack. These packs are very, like, fragile, I don't know. They shred very, very easily. So I, because I was watching uh, the Pokemon Evolutionaries open up their custom, custom generations boost box, and I noticed that a lot of their packs were shredding, and they were trying to save the pack arts, and it just was not. They just weren't co cooperating. But yeah, we've got the Gulpin, so they're like imitating each other with the forks. Cure, cure. So we got a Shauna, Evo Soda. A shoulder, fairy energy, Zubat, Magma, Clefable, that one is a reverse uncommon with Follow Me and Moonblast, Deancey from the Radiant Collection, and a Jinx regular rare. Okay, so we're um, not having too flashy a part right now, not, nothing too shiny right now. Um, but hopefully that picks up in these last couple of Charizard and Venusaur pack arts because um that's all that was kind of like left. So at the end of this box, I kind of just threw like Charizard, Venusaur, Charizard, Venusaur. So let's see, let's see if this Charizard pack art can come through. Ooh, can I save it? I think I can. Not bad. 
So hopefully Charizard can come through with a Charizard for us today. So we've got a Fletchling. Pokemon Center Lady. A Cloyster. Doduo. Slowpoke. Lightning Energy. Slow... <laughs> Slowpoke? What is going on? <laughs> we just got two Slowpoke, one pack. What is the deal? So, was that our... Oh, okay, no, we've got the reverse of a Magikarp. Radiant Collection Meowstic, so this one's a little bit bigger at the bottom, a little bit off-center. And a Hitmonchan, so I don't know what happened there, but we got to, we just got two Slowpoke, one pack, and the common spot. So that's weird, That that is strange. That is strange. What just happened? Why, why, why did that happen? I was like, Slowpoke? And then I just said Slowpoke again, and I kind of took a second click. I'm like, huh? What? What? Uh, anyway. So, we've got a Fletchling. Evo Soda. Golbat. Pikachu. Fairy Energy. Zubat. Magma. Zubat Reverse, a Sylveon EX once again, not bad, not bad, and a Snorlax, regular rare. So yeah, this is the third Sylveon out of the 36 packs we've opened so far, but none of the starters have even attempted to, the, to show their faces to us today. I think, we're, like at the moment, um, pool-wise, I think we've got kind of just like the scraps so far. So it's not, not very pretty at the moment, like we're getting pulls. But, um, the quality is just not there right now. Like, I'm, I'm so hyped right now, but at the same time, it's just like, where, where is, where are these starters at? Because that's, that's one of the main goals, it's just these starters, and they're just not showing their faces to me, and I don't like it. I don't like it. But it's okay. So, who knows? We may definitely have to, uh, invest in another 36 pack to try our luck. Um and see if we can pull these starters. But we've got a Persian, Pokeball, Magma, even just to pull one would be A-OK -okay with me at this current point of the box where we've got four packs left after this one. But we've got an Imakuni Reverse, so this is only the second Imakuni of the box. Then we've got a Charizard, once again, I said we would not see many of these, but we've seen more of them than like anything at the moment. And... A Jolteon EX. That brings a smile to my face because this card is incredible right now. It is playable. It is so hard to get at this current moment because of that attack flash ray. So it's a Jolteon EX with 160 HP with the attack swift and the attack flash ray. So if you guys did not know, flash ray says during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from a basic Pokemon. So technically this card is resistant to every single basic Pokemon in the game. So for example, this Jolteon is a basic Pokemon, it's a basic EX. So Jolteon can te technically not hurt itself. You can only get hurt by a second stage or third stage evolution. Which makes this card just like Amazing, and that is why it is so like pricey on the market right now. But yeah, Jolteon EX. So I really, really should sleeve this. I'm gonna take a second just to, to just just to sleeve this because it is such a uh, valuable pull. Um, sorry about this, guys. I wasn't really prepared to even get anything like this, so I might just throw that one in a in a little ultra pro ultra pro sleeve. Awesome. So now it's all safe. All safe. So that pack wasn't too bad. We got an Imakuni Reverse as well, so that's pretty sweet. Venusaur. So that definitely makes this a lot more worth it right now. Um, to see that Jolteon decided to show his face, but I'm I'm still surprised that Vaporeon hasn't uh, hasn't popped through yet, being the easier card to to pull, considering I've pulled a lot of the easier easier pulls so far. But let's see, we still got three more packs after this one. So this is the fourth last pack. 
Let's see, so we got a Charmander. Graveler. Pokeball. A Darkness Energy. Ghastly. Karabi. Marchop. Reverse Slowpoke. Jirachi, shout out to Jirachi. And a Dodrio regular rare. See, like, we haven't seen much of Dodrio, but we've seen lots of Snorlaxes, lots of Gyarados, um, yeah, like, lots of Pincers. But yeah, Dodrio, 90 HP with the Treat Aid and Fury Attack. Don't understand, like, there's, there's re regular rares out there, like pa Parasect as well, uh, Jinx, but we're just, yeah, pulling a lot of the same ones, I don't know. It must be just how the mythical collection boxes are just uh, packaged, I don't know. Have no clue. It's one of the many reasons I'd love to work for the Pokemon Company, just to find out little facts like that. Just the little things. But we've got an Esper, Pokemon Fan Club, Shauna, Rhyhorn, Ponyta, Magikarp, a Grass Energy, Geodude, Flowet, from the rating collection and a Doug Trio regular rare. So once again, Doug Trio. We haven't seen too too much of Doug Trio. But yeah, it's got Earthquake and Rock Tumble. I think we have. I think we've pulled like three. That might have been even the fourth one. But yeah. But yeah. So second last pack of the Jeparations Custom Booster Box opening. And we still have not seen the sign of a starter. We've seen them on the pack arts, but just not inside the packs. So this is pretty crazy right now. But I believe, I believe we have some shiny, shiny goodness out the back. And I don't believe it's that Radiant Collection shininess. I believe it is that EX, EX kind of shininess, like the Jelzeon kind of shininess. I don't know what to call it because they're all EXs. But anyway, let's just move on. Let's move on. We've got a Diglett, Krabby Reverse, a Wally from the Rating Collection, and that shiny goodness is Charizard EX. Nice, nice. That is awesome. So we saved the starter to come through to last. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. So yeah, Charizard came through. So that one was from a Venusaur pack art, I believe. Just to kind of keep keep note of that. But awesome. It was so good to pull a start. I was so hoping we pulled just at least one. And we did. But we saved it to last. Woo. Charizard EX. 180 HP with a Flame Cloak and Burning Breath. Not bad. That art looks pretty, pretty sweet. Awesome. So let's throw you up the back. Next to Jolteon. And the final pack of my generate custom generations booster box opening. We have the Charizard pack art. How fitting. How fitting. Charizard in the last pack. And then we're finishing off with Charizard. Hopefully we can end it on a high note and let's see what we can get out of this final pack today. Alrighty, so we've got a Snow Run. Team Flag Run. A Mr. Mime. Lightning Energy, Shelter, Clefairy, a Geodude, we've got a Reverse Rare Rapidash, and then from the Rating Collection we have a Gardevoir EX Full Art. Not even bad. Not even bad at all. Check that guys. So that's the third one of the Custom Generations Boost Box. So we didn't get the Mega, surprisingly, from the Rating Collection. That's cr that's crazy. And we got a Jinx. Jinx, regular rare to finish it off. So we didn't get any double pulls. But we did get all of these ones in this pack. So we did get, like, kind of some sort of a range out of all these packs. I'm going to throw Jolteon at the big, of course. Uh, Sylveon at the front once again. Pikachu, Meowstic, Pikachu, Sylveon. Someone, so I just sort these out real quickly. Let's throw all these commons and uncommons just off to the side. And have a recap of the second half of the boost box. So I'm not going to go through everything. I'm just going to kind of keep the recap separate. So um, those guys that are skipping to the end of the opening, um, 
We'll have to kind of skip back a little bit to, just to see the uh, see the poles in total. But let's throw that there like that and that there like that. Cool. So we got we got recap for the second half of the booster box. We got another Charizard times two. Then we've got a Reverse Ray Paraset, Jinx, and a Rapidash. Then we've got a Sylveon EX, times two, once again. Gardevoir EX Full Art, number three of the box. Pikachu Full Art, times two, not even bad. Then we've got a Meowstic EX, Charizard EX. And then of course we've got the Jolteon EX, definitely being the more pricey pull out of all these EXs and definitely one to treasure just because of the playability, like that is next level. But yeah you guys, that is it, that is the part 2 of my 1000 subscriber special. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me open up 36 packs of Generations. We did get quite a lot of pulls, I'm, I'm rather impressed, it's almost, I think it would balance out, I'm going to check after this to uh, almost one in two packs, being um, one EX in every single second pack. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's opening, be sure to drop a like on the video. Let me know what you guys think about me opening up a second lot of 36 boost packs on the channel, maybe even for like a 2,000 subscriber special, I might even throw a second 36 in. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new to my channel, or if you just enjoyed today's opening. And I look forward to seeing you guys in another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings. Thanks for watching. Peace. And the deed is done.